Hello everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate employee birthday emails. If you like SharePoint, Teams, Power Automate, and Power Apps videos, feel free to subscribe because we'll be putting out more videos in those areas. But let's get into the video. So first things first, I will be utilizing SharePoint and Power Automate for this automation. You will need a list of all your employees' birthday emails in a SharePoint list. So for first name, this is my title field. I just have the employee's first name. I have a single line of text for a last name. And then I have a birthday and a date field. And then I also have a person group type column right here. Just so I'm able to grab the employee's email later down the line for the Power Automate. And I recommend making this list private only for you to see in your SharePoint. So you do that in the permissions. So not everyone has access to the birthday list. If you wanna make it public, you can, if not, uh, just change up the permission settings so only you can see it. So in Power Automate, we're gonna wanna go ahead and schedule Cloudflow. I will name this flow birthday email, and we'll have it starting today at 10 a.m. I'll change up the time, and you want this to repeat every day because basically how this flow works is you're gonna check it every day to see if any employee has a birthday on that day. If so, we're gonna send an email to that employee. So we'll go ahead and press create. So in the reoccurrence, I have it set to every day. In the advanced options, I want this to run in the morning. So for the start time, you have the date and then it's in UTC. So I'm just gonna look up uh, UTC to EST so I can get the EST time. So I want this to run at 8 a.m. So the UTC time would be 1 p.m. And in military time, that's going to be 3, 1300. So next step, we're gonna create a compose statement to get the current date. So if I did for my compose statement, UTC now, it's gonna get the date in UTC. And I will do UTC and we'll just output it with the month and day. And for your years, it's got to be lowercase. For the month, it's got to be uppercase. And for the day, it's got to be lowercase. If you do lowercase on the months, it's going to give you the minute and not the month. It's a little tip if you're getting some weird date outputs. So I'm just going to test this manually just to make sure my compose statement is uh, correct. And it won't be because uh, in UTC, the time, the date now is 12.9. In Eastern time, it's 12, eight. So we're gonna correct this. So let's go back into the expression and we wanna do convert from UTC parenthesis. So it's asking us for a timestamp right now. We're gonna do UTC now, parenthesis, closing parenthesis, comma, destination time zone. This is gonna be Eastern time, Eastern standard time. If you want to do a different time zone, you're going to want to look up what the correct syntax is for your time zone. All right, close that up with single quote, comma, in the format. So for this one, the format, since I'm checking birthdays, I don't want the year attached to it because I don't really care about the year. If I attach the year to it, it's going to check if it's 2022 and no one born in 2022 at the time that I put out this video that the birthday we're checking that's working as an employee so we're going to actually just want to do month month day day so that'd be capital m's then two lowercase d's and we want to close up this statement and we're going to go ahead and press save just to check this again we'll go ahead and press test run flow as you can see we have the correct month and day all right, so let's go ahead and get the items from SharePoint. So that'd be get items, SharePoint. And this will this action will get the every rows data. So we can compare that to our compose statement. So site address, marketing, list name, birthday list, advanced options. I'm not gonna have any since I want all the items in that SharePoint list. Next, we're gonna wanna do a condition. So basically in this condition statement, we're checking the the dates of the birthday from the SharePoint list to the date of our compose, which is today. So for choose a value, we're gonna wanna select birthday right here. 
and it's going to put this into apply to each statement because it has to go through each one of these values and that's why it puts in the apply to each so it's going to run six times in the apply to each we're going to go ahead and press control a on the birthday because we actually have to format this so it matches up with just day day i mean month month day day so i'm going to go ahead and press control a to select all and then control c to copy and then you want to press delete and in our expression we're going to want to do format date time so this will allow us to convert the format of the date from SharePoint to the format we need to compare it with, with our compose statement. So timestamp, this is going to be what we copied. So I'm going to press control V right here in the parentheses, and then remove the add symbol from the items. And in the parentheses, we're going to want to get the, well, we're going to want to format the date from. So we're going to do month, month, day, day, and we'll go ahead and press OK. And I'll put all these uh, expressions in the description so you guys can check up. So format date time, we want to check the birthday. So let's go ahead and get the output from our statement of above. So it's going to compare the SharePoint list date to the output date right here. Since we don't have the year attached to it, it should should work. So if it is yes, we know that the user's birthday is today, and we want to send an email. So we want to send the email to the user's email. And if I look in my SharePoint list, this is the user. Since it's a personal group, it will have the user's email attached to it. So I'm going to send it to my user, Michael Alex, because his birthday is actually uh, 12, 12, 8. And let me change up the year. So we'll do 2, 12, 8, 1995. Not that the year matters because we're actually not looking at the year. So we're doing the user's email and we'll do happy birthday with the title field, which is the first name in our SharePoint list. And we'll say good morning. We just wanted to wish you a happy birthday. We hope you have a great day, comma, and then we'll just toss the name in there again. And then we'll do thanks, management. So this is all you need in the flow right now. If it isn't no, we don't want any emails to send. You don't have to do anything. So we'll just leave that blank. For actually troubleshooting purposes, when we look at the output, it's actually not going to show us the condition statement. So I just want to see what this expression is going to output. So I'm going to copy this. And I just put a compose statement down here. It's not going to do anything. It's just helpful for troubleshooting. So I put the format date time, which is the expression up here in a compose. So when I check the output, I can actually see what, what the output of that is. So let's go ahead and press save and we will go ahead and press test manual run flow. So while this is running, we'll just look at the outputs really quick. So we got the month and we got the date, we got the get items and it looks like it ran successfully. So for the first six, for the first five, it's not going to send anything because these months and days don't line up. But if we go to item six, which is the item that is correct, Michael Alex, as you can see, the send the email worked. And if we look at the compose statement, it successfully grabbed the correct month and date from the birthday list. And since these two add up, it will go ahead and send the email. So let's go ahead and look at my outlook. As you can see, we got the email, happy birthday, Michael. Good morning, we just wanna wish you a happy birthday. We hope you have a great day, Michael. Thanks, management. So that will be the birthday flow. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you liked it, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Any issues, feel free to leave them in the comments. Any video ideas, just leave them in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one.